Hi, today we continue with expectation and variance for continuous random variable and this is the learning outcomes. So for CRV, we have expectation EX and we are going to integrate multiply X with the function and then EX square with multiply with X square and the variance. So for the expectation, we have expectation for constant equals to A for variance equals to 0. Then we have expectation of any constant a e x for variance we have a power of 2 next we go to example 26 how to find expectation from 2 until 5 so don't forget we're going to multiply x with the function all right the function given and then multiply first expand take 2 over 7 outside then we're going to expand x power of 2 integrate that integrate x then substitute the limit 2 until 5. We write down the substitution. Then we calculate the expectation EX. We get 57 over 7. Okay. To find EX plus 1, we're going to write EX plus E1. E1 is actually equals to 1. Any constant will be that number. So we take the answer from previous. So we get that. C, we have expectation E10. E10 equals to 10. So 57 over 7. Then we count that. Alright, for EX square, make sure we are going to multiply with X square with a function first. Expand. Substitute the limit 2 until 5. Okay. Multiply with X square first. Then we integrate. Substitute 2 and 5, 5 and then 2. Then we get the answer. Right, next. To find x plus 2 square, we need to expand one by one. Okay, expand, you get x square plus 4x plus 4. Then we separate one by one. E power, oh sorry, e four x is actually four e x. We take the answer for e x square from the previous. So multiply e x with four. Then finally we get yes. All right. Next we're going to find expectation and variance for this question. So first we're going to times with x with each of the function. Right, and then we expand, substitute the limit, and then get the answer. For e x square, we are going to multiply with x square. So integrate from zero until four. Don't forget each of the function we need two times with x square. So substitute the limit one until three. We have x square times with the function. So next we have x square times with the function. So, before we integrate, we need to expand first. Yes, expand times with x square. Alright, so we write it back. Then only we integrate. Integrate each one of that. Now we substitute 0 to 1 and then next 1 and 3 and then next we have 3 until 4. Substitute into x. Then we calculate We will get twenty nine over six. Okay, to find the variance, the formula is actually e x square minus e x in bracket. So the square is outside. Then we're going to substitute back. What's the answer that we get from previous? 
Yes, then we get the variance. So for variance 1 minus 2x, separate that variance 1, variance constant is actually equals to 0. And then here negative 2 square. Don't forget variance, you need to square the constant. So if we get 4 variance x, substitute variance that we get. Just now. And then we get the answer. Okay, thank you. Practice makes perfect. So don't forget to do the exercise. Bye.